Hello Leo, this is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Leos, so keep that in mind, but this is for Leo. December 2018, full Celtic cross, comprehensive. Celtic cross, Leo, December 2018. Hope your November was going okay. We'll see if we can get these out. I'm aiming for before December, so hopefully I do get everything out. I'll try to keep on schedule. Incoming energy, the moon. Now, you know, this could be uh, hidden things, like things not revealed. Deceptions, intuition, sometimes depression. That depends on what goes around it as, as we're, or what's coming after this because that's all we know it's the moon and uh recently we just had a full moon but i don't think that has anything to do with it but let's see what else is going to happen before we can say exactly what it is eight of swords coming out of feeling trapped bound tied to a certain situation it's in reverse eight of swords what's crossing it is the queen of discs this can be an earth element or say, someone taking on the energy of an earth element. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The goal, death in reverse. That is possibly you're trying to keep something ended. You don't want to resurrect something. Or it could be that you're stuck on something, but I, I'll, I will clarify these. Foundation, the Hierophant in reverse. It could have a lot to do with relationships, contracts, the status quo. What is considered solid in society, conformity. Oftentimes, this is, has to do with like marriages or even endings, you know, of anything. But I'll get back to that also. In the past, you thought you were going to have a happily ever after situation. You thought you're going to, you finally got everything you wanted. That's what you thought in the past. And it probably was because it's in the upright. So you generally thought that, or maybe it actually was. In the near future, you're going to be moving on from troubled water, waters from the Six of Swords. Now I'm going to lay four more out. But they are the distant future and what's coming towards you. And I want to clarify what is currently going to happen, the past and the near future. So let me get to that first. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice for some reason. But we have the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Discs crossing it. Why are you there for Leo? Something from the past. Maybe you're trying to come out of being trapped from somebody in the past, or it could be that somebody can, can be coming back from the past with the Six of Cups. Someone that, for some reason, there may have been interference before where they couldn't, or maybe some someone because you got the queen crossing it. So the queen could have been crossing this situation, doing this situation. Stopping you, stopping someone from the past from seeing you possibly. Or maybe you're actually thinking about this queen of disc. Maybe this queen of disc broke free and may return. But in some other cases, it's just thinking too much in the past. Let me get another card for the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Discs, and the Six of Cups in the Upright for Leo. Could have to do with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is in reverse, so I'm seeing a couple people here. First, Earth, someone taking on that energy. Now we have Cups. The Knight of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're in reverse. Something's not right with them. Maybe... That moon card is telling us something's not right, and you're going to find out something possibly, or you know that there are, you already know they're not right. Something's wrong with them. 
when the Knight of Cups is in reverse, they can be emotionally despondent, depressed, um, basically over emotional, more or less for the average. Now the goal, the death in reverse, and also what they call what crowns you, but the death in reverse, why are you there for Leo? Trying to come out of feeling stuck with a with a heartbreaking situation. You're gonna to try to come out of feeling stuck. Can I get another card? Because the three of swords is in reverse. Let me get another one. Yeah, breaking free with the seven of swords. You may express yourself too. I'm thinking something ended from the past. But that six of cups. And it broke your heart, but you're finally breaking free from those emotions. The Hierophant, in reverse, as the foundation. Like I said, that could be a broken contract, like breaking up with a partner or a spouse or something of that nature. For a very few of you, you could have lost somebody towards the illness or death, you know, just for a few of you. Because I see ceremonies here. The Hierophant in reverse. Why are you there for the foundation for Leo? I think it's more of a relationship for a lot of you. You stood up for yourself and you probably told somebody you're not doing this anymore, even though it probably hurt because you have that three of swords in reverse, like you're trying to come out of heartbreak. Can I get another card for the Hierophant and the seven of wands in the upright for Leo? Yeah, the lovers, it's, it's a relationship. Something ended, something that you still think about in the past some sometimes with fond memories with love because in the past you thought you were happy you thought you were both happy ten of cups why are you there in the past for leo and you were trying to come out of failure with it you had your ten of cups but it failed somewhat you were happy, but then failure came, and you were trying to overturn it. It seemed like no matter what you did, can I get another card for the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles? With the Queen of Discs in reverse. Hmm, interesting. Queen of Discs, it could be male or female, because we're reading for the masses. I told you that before, it's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or someone just taking on an energy. It was a failed situation, which you thought would be a happily ever after. And it involves the Queen of Discs and, you know, the Knight of Cups. Or maybe they have both these energies. Maybe it's their, you know, their rising and their sun or moon. Now, in the near future, you've got the Six of Swords in the upright. It's moving on from troubled waters, and it's a great card. It's movement. It's no longer um, stuck in the near future. You're going to decide to move on. For a few of you, you may actually move residences. Some of you may be near water, but it's basically just moving on from troubled waters, easier times, even though you're slightly remembering the pain from the swords, it's allowing you to move on now. Six of Swords, why are you there for Leo? For the near future for Leo. Because you didn't have success wherever you were at, so you're going to move on. You're going to move somewhere. Now, let me get another card. These are for my Leos that, like I said, yeah, your desires are gone from whatever happened in the past or whoever. You didn't desire what happened to you. That's a lust card in, in, in reverse. 
for the large majority of you, I'm just seeing, this is what I'm seeing. Relationships broken up, possible losing someone, a few of you, very few. And this has already probably occurred through a death, possibly. And I'm trying to think of some others, what it could be. Some of you just may be moving. So I'm getting three different type of Leos here. Or maybe just all of them are happening, you know. Now I'm going to go to this section. This is the possible future outcome and the advice from the universe. The universe is saying you're, you're unbalanced. You're feeling unbalanced. You don't feel totally whole yet. The art card, why are you there? As the advice from the universe for possible future outcome. Yeah, you don't have 100% balance in, in gaining your fortune, where you want to end up in life um, when it comes to finances. So the universe is uh, telling you to get yourself together, balance yourself out more, so those uh, finances could start finally start to come through. Maybe you're feeling a little depressed, not motivated, and not really trying to go out there and, you know, be all you can be because of everything that happened to you. And the universe is saying it's possible to get all you want, but you need to become more balanced. You know, mind, body, and spirit. Can I get another card for the art card, temperance, and the ten of pentacles, which is in the upright? Yep, Queen of Wands, that's you. As far as I'm concerned, that's you. In the upright. So you can get your financial stability if you're lacking. Like I said, as long as you put on your crown like the Queen of Wands can. Take on your power and your energy and bring back your mojo, as you heard me. I don't know if you ever heard me say that in my last readings. And get your balance back, because it can happen. The universe saying saying the door can open, or it wouldn't have mentioned this. It's the advice. You take the advice, it could be your outcome. What is coming towards you? The universe. Possibly something totally new in your life. In other words... If you accept this, what's coming towards you, the world is your oyster, new things, ending old things, and starting something totally brand spanking new. And the universe is probably telling you, with all those eclipses Leo had, that it eclipsed a lot of things out of your life, some of it probably painful for you, to bring you where you need to be, I guess. I know it's hard to say that. I hate saying that to people. It's such a cliche, you know. Oh, you know, what's meant to be type stuff. But I know it hurts. But I'm telling you, the universe is bringing a whole new world for you. It's offering it to you. The universe, also known as the world card. The universe, coming towards Leo or the outside environment. Why are you there? High Priestess, listening to your intuition this time. It's bringing you whispers of uh, secrets of the universe. It's telling you things, and you just got to listen so it can guide you with the High Priestess. Can I get another card with the universe and the High Priestess? Both in the upright. Good cards. Princess of Swords. Now, this could be an energy. Princess of Swords is fast moving. It cuts to the chase. It is not hindered. So something that can be coming towards you pretty quickly before you know it. So if you see this and you want your world to change, you may want to open up to it. And for some others, it could be actually an air sign. Or someone taking on that energy, like I said, all the time. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. 
but it's coming towards you. It's all in the uprights. Great, great cards as far as I'm concerned. Now, your hopes and fears, you know, work. Maybe you're afraid you won't be able to work things out with the Eight of Pentacles, or your desire is to get more stable work, because Pentacles is usually stable, especially when it comes into the Eight of Pentacles, but you will be working. But as your fear or your hope, Eight of Pentacles, why are you there for Leo? My cat is meowing in the background. Does that every once in a while. You're taking control. You want to take control with the Emperor and, and the upright and do it well. Take control of your life. Put that crown on. That's a fire energy also. Now I get another card for the Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor in the upright. As the hopes and fears for Leo. You may turn down things that just aren't lucrative for you also. The things you want, you're working for, you want to be solid with the Ten of Pentacles so you can survive. You want something solid, you're going to work for it, and you're going to, you're going to take control. There are, that are your feelings that you're going to do this, your hopes, and you may actually do that. The outcome, you get a victory, Leo. About time, right? It really is about time. Six of Wands, the victory card. Finally getting what you deserve. Things that you've been wanting for a very long time. Six of Wands, why are you there as the outcome for Leo? Not that we're arguing. Six of Wands, why are you there for Leo? Why is that cat meowing like that? Ooh, victory and love. Possibility. Can I get another card? Always like happy, happy endings. I'd rather it start rough and be happy at the end than be happy in the beginning or lousy at the end, you know? Six of Wands. Two of Cups. Why are you there? For Leo is the ending. Because before you're always worried and left out and you're going to gain a victory. Because here is the... Um, what is going on, the main energy, this is why, is you're going to get love, and also why, because you're always worried before, you always felt left out before, but you finally get a victory, even though you were worried, you may still even be a little worried about this love, you don't trust it, you don't trust it, and, and at the end you got the devil in the upright, at the end energy, and with the devil, and I got these cards together. It could be that things get little, a little romantic in a, in a very, uh, how can I say that? Know your safe word, as they say. But that is your reading. It's a great reading. There is a victory. You got to leave all this other yuck behind you. I know you thought you had a happily ever after, but you do move on. I know you, you missed out on something and you cared about somebody. But your goal is not to be stuck anymore and to break yourself free, like I said, and move on. Because you weren't having success in that area. And you weren't getting the desires of your heart. The universe has turned yourself around. Put your crown on so you can gain your fortune in life or your destiny or where you wanted to end up in life financially. It's coming, into, coming towards you a whole new world. And you'll know it probably if you see it, but please don't reject it because you have that right to reject these energies and go your own path. I mean, these are your paths, but you do have free will. And if you like this path, go for it. You know, don't hinder it. But if you don't like this path, don't take it. Change it. In the end, you get a victory with love, but you're still kind of worried or the reason why you're getting this, maybe the universe saw, sees that, or witnessed that you were left out. They know that you were left out, or the universe did. Try to get this out. 
but you got the devil. It's a chain situation. A lot of times, when I see it with these cards, it's the ending energy coming in. What I got here are passionate type cards. So what it's saying is you may have a really good time with somebody. I mean good time, okay? So that is your reading. I gotta see why my cat is yodel and he does do that quite often. Usually with Libra readings though. So that is it. And I will get back to you hopefully before the middle of December. See you later. Bye.